Good day and welcome to Partake. Welcome also to Monday. It's the 11th of July 2011 and our Think Spot together. Last Monday, we looked at serving God wherever you are with a clear conscience. How did you get on with doing that? This week, we look at a follow-on from that to meekness. What is meekness? Isn't meekness merely weakness? That's what we're told often enough by people outside the church. Yet meekness is not weakness. Meekness is giving up our personal rights and possessions to God alone. A meek person is one who claims no personal rights of their own and who is willing to yield all possessions and personal rights back to God. A meek person sees these things as being loaned by God for his work and glory. Being meek in all situations takes a strong character. For example, Moses in Numbers chapter 12. And giving up your rights and all you own to God alone is talked about often in the Bible. Some of the results of giving up your personal rights to God can be found in Psalm 22 verse 26, Psalm 25 verse 9, Psalm 37 verses 8 to 11, Psalm 149 verse 4, Isaiah 29 verse 19, and Matthew 11 verse 28 to 30. And as followers of Jesus, you and I need to give up our own rights and possessions to him because you and I belong to God. We are instructed to be meek by Jesus himself and it follows the example of the New Testament church. When we insist on our own personal rights and these rights are violated, there are two main consequences, anger and anxiety. They occur when we try to control or change something God never intended us to change or control. When we react and resist, we deny God his right to do what he wants to do. When we get angry and when we worry, these are signs that there are rights God wants us to yield to him. That's all very well, but how do we yield rights and possessions over to God. Firstly, we need to identify them. Go, check where in your life anger or anxiety exist. Then ask the Holy Spirit to work on your heart, prayerfully considering each area or possession and yielding all to Jesus. When you do that, God becomes responsible for those areas. Secondly, Expect God to test his rights. Having handed them to God, he may allow situations to occur which will deny you these rights to see if that right was really given to him. It may be necessary to once again yield that right to Jesus. And as you respond to each test, meekness develops. It's not an instant thing. Go into this week knowing that God is at work in you you are to be his servants, and you are not your own. You were brought at a price by God through the meekness of Jesus Christ's work on the cross. Father, I pray that as we give our personal rights to you, that you give us strength to overcome with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives within us as your children. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And today I'm also praying for a cousin of a friend of mine. Her name is Karen, and she's in a coma due to a brain hemorrhage. Father, we lift Karen to you now. We ask you can uh, restore Karen to full health, either through your own hand or through the work of the medical staff. Be with her friends and family. Comfort them and encompass them in your arms of compassion. Amen.